what is going on everybody today we are going over home depot stock home depot company they make some santa cookie tray they make some uh, fresh cut christmas trees we're gonna find three things in this video we're gonna find number one fair value of home depot stock according to the intelligent investor book that warren buffett likes very much and was written by his mentor benjamin graham that's number one number two we're gonna find the price that warren buffett will actually be a buyer he would like to get a 33 percent discount on the fair value price which we will find that as well and number four we're gonna go over the financial statements of the home depot company so you can read financial statement for beginners make it super simple it's not scary to analyze any stock and i will show you exactly how warren buffett does that so you can be the next buffett we're starting right now i'm in this excel how to value a stock like warren buffett uh, we got the company name home depot we're gonna find two things uh, right off the bat eps earning per share we're gonna find that in yao finance and growth we're gonna find the growth rate of the next five years for home depot as well in yao finance so let's go yao finance uh home depot price of 264 look at this graph that's a uh, all-time graph from the year 1982 about the nine cents six cents if you said hey maybe it's expensive at dollar 80 look at it all the way up to 264 uh, as of today 280 something was the all-time high which is uh, uh i don't it doesn't mean if it, if the stock is at all-time high everyone will tell you it's expensive no if the stock is growing according to their financials that you're gonna learn how to read them for dummies for beginners whatever you want to call it make it super simple if you read financial statement of a company you can predict where this company is going and if you want to be an investor long term not for the next week buying palantir or tesla calls that's or neo it's not gonna make you wealthy long term maybe short term but i digress so we need uh, to find two items first item is eps trailing 12 months this is the number 11.56 it's pretty high uh, 1156 and the next item on our list i'm gonna scroll all the way here to uh, the analysis tab and i'm gonna scroll all the way down okay and i got this number uh the next five years per annual 7.6 percent growth so what I would like to see over 10%, it's uh, you know, it's a mature company. They know exactly how much they're gonna grow. 7.6%, uh, I'm gonna put those two numbers in the Excel. So let's do this right now. So I'm back in the Excel. The first number is this, uh, EPS 7, uh, 11.56, and growth is 7.6. That's basically uh, stuff that I need to fill. Other than that, PE 8.5 that's a constant number from the book two times growth uh, two that's another constant corporate bond 4.4 we do, we divide the whole formula by 4.4 uh, another constant in the book and by the way guys if you want to uh, find this formula and value each and every stock that you own or would like to own feel free to check my patreon in the description below where i posted a link about a month ago to this formula that i made after reading 600 plus pages of the book the intelligent investor you can either read the book or uh, join patreon 10 bucks a month support me support this channel and make great long-term wealth decisions that's basically what we are doing on patreon let's move on before we find the AAA corporate bond we're gonna go over the financial statement uh, of uh, home depot and read them for beginners in a super simple manner to see exactly what Warren Buffett is looking for in a company before he purchased a company long term forever. So like in your finance guys, I'm going to this step financial, super simple. Do not be scared. Do not be afraid of reading financial statements. Just because Bloomberg and Wall Street are scaring you doesn't mean everyone cannot read financials for beginner i'm going to show you what warren buffett does exactly in each and every part of this financial statement we got three parts income statement part number one balance sheet part number two cash flow part number three we're going to start with the income statement let's go super simple i'm just looking for ratios just like warren buffett ratio number one total revenue that's what they make first of all just look that it's growing 
just a side look that it's growing so from a hundred billion here I'm just looking at the first three numbers because you multiplied it by a thousand that's that simple they made a hundred billion gross total revenue gross in 2018 then 108 that's a grow then another 110 that's growing then tw trailing 12 months 125 billion dollar total revenue that's great how much did it cost that's the first ratio that i'm looking for uh gross profit 42 billion that's pretty awesome i'm looking for the first ratio 42 divided by 125 and warren buffett would like to see 40 percent ideally around 40 percent higher uh, about 40 percent apple has 30 38 percent 40 percent is uh, amazing for gross profit for any company so i'm gonna check my calculator let's go we got a calculator out we're gonna do 42.758 that is it divided by 125.631 and we got a ratio of uh you know it's not bad 34 percent so for every 34 percent from the total that's the gross warren buffett ideally would like to see 40 uh as i said apple is at 38 but 34 is not bad let's see the net how much they actually making as net income from that uh, total revenue that they're generating and for this we're going to all the way down here uh diluted and i diluted net income available for common stockholder 12 billion that's what they made we're gonna take this and uh, and in here warren buffett would like to see 20 percent if a company makes 20 percent net that means that for every dollar that they spend they're getting dollar 20 back that's all you need to know that's all that uh, warren buffett cares about at least for the pre first stages of checking a company so we're gonna do 12.490 divided again by 125.631 and we got ourselves 9.9 .9, let's say 10 percent net so for every dollar that they invest they're getting dollar 10 back it's not ideal it is home depot it is retail but super profitable you know warren buffett would eventually will not move forward with purchasing home depot according to his standards but you know do your own standards if 10 percent net is good i saw a lot of companies that walmart for example it depends on the industry walmart is at around i don't know 5.7 percent target is like three percent and uh, you know and they're all growing but that's all you need to know for step one which is income statement your goal is 40 percent gross 20 percent net let's move on to the next one next item on our list is the balance sheet we're looking for a couple of things first just look that it's growing first of all the first uh, column total assets 42 billion 44 billion 44 billion 51 billion grow grew by 7 billion this year pretty awesome growth with the corona and all this stuff you know it's pretty good the next thing that we're looking for is the total liabilities but long term we're looking for long term total liabilities we got uh, 54 billion but we're looking not for this one current current means paychecks and stuff that they're paying day to day nobody cares about it because they can cover 18 billion dollars they cover every month which is crazy We're looking for this one total non-current and specifically this specific column uh long-term debt long-term debt we got ourselves into 33 billion point seven uh 33 billion point seven and warren buffett would like to have the long-term debt that uh, get paid off by four years or less that's how we value a company if a company can pay their long-term debt in less than four years that's a check mark in his uh, his book so how are we calculating this we're taking this number 33 736 and we divide it by the net income that we found in the income statement so we're going back to the income statement going all the way to this number the diluted okay four, and ideally we're gonna divide this by 12.490 and if the number is below four that means that the company can pay their long-term debt in in four years or less just with what they make today without any growth without nothing which is a great sign for a healthy company i click enter i want to see below four 
and the number is 2.7 that's pretty good meaning that in like two two and a half years two two years and seven months give or take home depot can cover their entire uh long-term debt that's a great sign a great company in warren buffett's book and that's how you finish the the second column basically of the balance sheet that's it that's what it looks for less than four years they can pay the long-term debt number is 2.7 that's great after that we're going over to cash i'm in cash flow and i'm looking for a couple of things operating cash flow needs to be a positive number i see a positive that means how much money they're generating cash flow just from home depot products that they sell that is it not finance not loans no nothing so they're generating 20 billion just the last 12 months just from home depot that's a great sign here they made uh, let's uh, go from the start 9 billion 12 billion 13 13 and 20 growing 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 just from selling home depot stuff it's a growing company I, i'm very impressed with the home depot so we want to see a plus in here and a minus in here and a minus in here we got check 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 uh, minus investing and minus financing that means that basically they're investing in the company doing cash back paying off debt all that good stuff reinvesting and then and, and making the the company a lot more valuable for the shareholders and that's pretty good just make it simple plus minus minus if you see plus minus minus it's a good thing let's scroll all the way the, to the bottom to see the last ratio uh, that warren buffett is looking for which is this one uh, minus uh, you want to see in capital expenditure uh, minus numbers so they spend 2.3 billion dollars on expanding the company how you want to see you want to know how and then you want to see the ratio issue of capital stock they issue some stocks to i don't know, prefer stock or something i prefer to see zero but two hundred and eighty thousand. it's not a big deal issue debt they took a big debt seven billion dollar maybe they're expanding look at this the in here it was 3.5 billion and here it's 7 billion so they just doubled their debt that's not a good sign i don't want to see more debt what with that 7 billion they paid off and all that receipt repayment of debt about 2 billion so they got about 5 billion dollar left to do whatever that they want and with that 5 billion look what they did repurchase of uh, capital stock so they bought with the extra 5 billion uh 3.8 billion from that they did the buyback of the home depot stock and got another 1.1.2 billion extra but at the end of the day they generated 7 billion so they are growing i mean it's not perfect i would like not to see a uh, issue of that but it is what it is i'm very happy that they did the buyback of the stock it's very important so you know it's not a perfect stock warren buffett will not buy it we still need to find the fair value but it's uh it's pretty it's not decent it's like i would give it i don't know 8.2 out of 10 something like that or 8.1 it's it's good solid long-term hold if you're already holding if not then that's uh uh, make your own decision but we're gonna find one less ratio we're gonna find one less ratio before we find the fair value which is divide this one capital expenditure how much they spend their free cash money uh every quarter or every year on, on how much they spend it do they spend it wisely so we're gonna take uh 2.290 uh 2.3 billion let's say divided again by the net income and find the number that ideally would be be less than 25 percent let's go at this number 2.290 and i'm back in the income statement right here i'm gonna divide 2.29 again not complicated by the diluted ni diluted net income divided by 12.490 uh, okay uh 12.490 Warren Buffett ideally would like to see 25% or less but anything between 25 and 50 is like like good average good uh, other than below 25% they spend their money like exceptional wise the management so let's see the number uh, we got 18% that means that the management are doing good 18% they spend their money uh, in a very efficient way 
So uh, again, I would give this uh, company around eight. Warren Buffett would not be a buyer because the net uh, margin is 10% and the gross uh, margin is around 30, 30 something, and he's looking for 40, 20. Uh, that's basically, but other than that, less than four years of uh, long-term debt, it's pretty good. Less than 25%, 18%, plus, minus, minus, that's what we see. Let's see the fair value in our uh, formula in the Excel. Back in the Excel, I googled the uh, Home Depot Corporate AAA bond yield and I got a couple of numbers and the average was about 375. So that's what I would take. And once I click enter, we're going to find two things. Uh, we got the price today 264 we're gonna find the fair value of home depot stock as well as the price that warren buffett will be a buyer which is about 33 percent less than the fair value of home depot if he would be a buyer after reading all the financial statements and uh, to me he will not but uh, because of the 10 percent net income instead of 20 but that's all so we shall see what we shall see but either way uh, let's find out without further ado uh, and and again uh, if you guys uh, don't uh, don't have this uh, formula check description below 10 bucks a month join the patreon get this and then start uh, get this excel and start making some uh, income and start making some wealth for yourself long term so without further ado dum -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum. okay Okay, we got ourselves two numbers. Number one, a Home Depot fair value of the stock three hundred and twenty-one dollars. Is it two sixty-four now? Something like twenty percent upside, give or take. But the price that Warren Buffett will be a buyer is two hundred and fifteen. We're two sixty-four. I assume I don't follow Home Depot, but I assume this uh, price was about I don't know three four months ago uh, before everything went crazy in October. In November uh, but 215 that's where he would be a buyer there's still upside of uh, from 264 for 321 it's a great company they're growing by the billions like 7 billion uh, every year it's pretty awesome stuff they can pay their long-term debt in less than four years very impressed I'm not a buyer Warren Buffett is not a buyer according to all the checklist i hope you find uh this va everything valuable if i bring you any value guys don't forget to do two things subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification actually do two or uh, three things and leave a comment below which stocks would you like to see next and i will see you guys in the next video thank you very much yeah